Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're starting a new series in algebra on logarithmic functions. The previous seri series was on exponential functions and there's a reason why we do exponentials first and not logarithmic functions because essentially a logarithmic function is the inverse of an exponential function. How do we see that? Well, the following. Here we can see that y equals b to the x is a typical exponential function just like what we saw in the previous series. Now what we can do is we can then take the inverse of that function by exchanging x and y and then solving for y again. So the x, the y becomes an x, the x becomes a y, so we write it like x equals b to the y. Then we need to solve for y. Now we don't know yet how to do that and we'll show you how to do that in the future. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take the log of both sides. Now we don't know yet what that means, but just follow me. Now in this case we're going to take the log to the base b. Now we can have log to different bases and again we don't know yet what that means but that's quite alright. We'll get there in just a, a few more videos. But so what we're going to do is we're going to write log to the base b in front of x on the left side and log to the base b in front of b to the y on the right side. So on the left side we simply get what we call the log of x or the log base b of x. That's what it's called. On the right side when we take the log with the base b of b to the y, where b is the base of the exponent y, this negates and we simply get y. So when we take the log base b of b to the y, we get y. And then if we turn the equation around, we get y equals the log base b of x. This is the inverse of our original exponential function, and this is what we call a logarithmic function. y is the log of x, and in this case, log base b of x. So, what do we really mean by y is the log of base b of x? Well, we can say that this is true because if we then take the base and we raise it to the exponent y, we get x again. So this is a true statement because the base b raised to the y equals x. And so therefore, if this is true, then this is true. Let the base equal 10. So when b equals 10, we can say that y equals the log to the base 10 of x. That is true because I can take the base, raise it to the y power, and get x. That still doesn't seem to mean much if you've never seen logarithmic functions before, but hang in there with just one more. So here we're going to show you some examples to show how this actually works. So instead of y, we write the number 1, log to the base 10, and instead of x, we write the number 10. So y equals the log of base 10 of 10 because, remember, you take the base, raise it to the exponent, instead of y we write 1, and then the first power is indeed 10, which remember, 10 was x. Remember, this is x, this is y, that's the base. So the base raised to y equals x. In this case, y is 1 and x is 10. Try this again. Now, 2 equals the log base 10 of 100. Why is that true? Because I can take the base, raise it to the y exponent, in this case exponent is 2, 10 to the 2 equals 100, which is x. Maybe you begin to see the pattern. How about this? 3 equals the log base 10 of 1,000, because the base 10 raised to the exponent 3 equals 1,000. Or 4 equals the log base 10 of 10,000, because the base 10 raised to the exponent 4 gives me back 10,000. Notice that this number here is equal to the number of zeros that I replace x with. 1, 0, 1, 2, zeros, 2, 3, zeros, 3, 4, zeros, 4. One more way to look at it. Here we have log base 10 of a million. Remember how many zeros? In this case there's six zeros, therefore that should equal six. Why does it equal six? Because log to the base 10 of 10 to the sixth, well remember that exponent again, that equals six. So this is equal to the exponent of the number 10, which is the base of the log. So again, log to the base 10 of a million is equal to six because there's six zeros, also because we can write a million as 10 to the sixth, and this is equal to the exponent of the base. And that is what we mean by a logarithmic function. Again, it's the inverse of an exponential function. 
we get the inverse by exchanging x and y to make a write it like this then we solve for y well take my word for it now we just take the log of both sides and on the right side when we take the log base b of b we get y again we could have the log of base 10 of 10 to the y power that's what we have over here that negates we simply get y and on the left side we get the log of x we turn it around y equals the log of x log of base b of x because y equals b to the x and so we can always make that comparison and as soon as we start making feeling comfortable making that comparison it begins to make sense what a logarithmic, logarithmic function is so this probably will help you understand it the most when we take the log of some base of a number that is equal to the base raised to the exponent that exponent is what the logarithmic function is equal to and that is what we mean by a logarithmic function you want to tell them there is a use for it right and yes there's actually a video that we have ready that we're going to film that tells us why we need logarithmic functions because it does seem kind of weird but they are very useful in many many ways